Morning, Chris. How are you doing this morning? Morning, Ron. Doing great. How about yourself? Great. So today we're going to change things up a little bit. Today's going to be a flash webinar, right? So it's going to be a shorter webinar. It's going to be quick. I'm going to pick a single topic. It's going to be highly technical, but I'm the marketing and sales VP here, right? So this is really targeted around marketing and sales, the website and conversions, lead generation, uh, client experience, UI, UX. I need help. I've got this website. If AI is as powerful as you say it is, because you and I talk all the time and you're always talking about AI, right? We just spent a big ton of money on some new AI servers. Uh, we've done a bunch of AI integrations and AI implementations for some new clients recently. You're always talking about AI, but I'm going to play the role of our audience today. I'm the sales and marketing guy. I don't know how AI, other than I use chat GPT for SEO, right? It helps me generate content. But how does it help me generate leads? How does it... Does it help the website? Uh, do I embed it in the website? How do I get stuff on the website and that technology plugged into my site to help really boost my sales, boost my lead gen and do the promise that it says it can. So I'm going to turn it over to you. That's the topic of the day, right? Show off AI and how it's going to help us, the marketing sales guy. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think this is one of the most interesting facets of AI that is really underserved right now. And it's really a big competitive advantage if you can take advantage of it now in sort of the life cycle of AI, because eventually this will just become a rote topic that everyone's doing. It isn't yet, though. Um, right. We've all heard about some of the benefits and advantages of AI with content generation, with analyzing user behavior. Um, another facet that's really interesting is a topic called fine tuning. And basically the idea behind fine tuning, uh, fine tuning training is that we're going to take the multiple millions of dollars of investment that large organizations have put into a open source, large language model. Uh, an example of this right now is Llama 2. Facebook has invested I would estimate tens and tens of millions of dollars of compute power to build this large language model. You can kind of think of it as an analogy, Ron, of like a student going through one of the best colleges in the country. Uh, they've gone through a liberal arts degree and they've gotten some general bachelor's of science and maybe a business degree as well. OK, so they've they've got sort of like multiple degree paths but they're still very general. Like they don't understand your business specifically, but they've graduated from a prestigious university and they're very well educated overall. So what we want to do with fine tuning training is take that graduate, bring them into the business and give them information that really we want them to use as sort of a, a, a reference or a sort of key source of information to learn our business or in, in this case, your specific business and represent the business. So we're going to, just like a college student would graduate with a general degree and then they would come in and learn your business. In a similar vein, the AI has a general set of capabilities and knowledge. And then we're going to sort of stack on top of that, this really specific knowledge for your business. And this can be things like product information, uh, details within your industry, um, email communication and chat communication. Uh, that you want the uh, AI to be able to emulate uh, search whenever somebody's searching, what are people actually clicking on that they then uh, proceed with the checkout in a purchasing process, uh, etc. So we're going to train this um, AI. And then we can do some really powerful things. Number one, we can really enhance the search. So when somebody is on a site, and we've gotten them there, the thing that they're typically asking themselves is, can this company, you know, for, for which site I'm on, can they actually deliver the services or the products that I need? And that's sort of what's going into their mind all the time as they're going through the site. So commonly they're going to do a search um, or they may interact with the chat bot or they may look at some of the navigation and interact with your site to try to find what they need. So what we want to do is we want to very rapidly and with a high level of credibility be able to speak to the fact that we can deliver what they need. So if they give us a bit of information in search or in chat or through their navigation on our site, 
Uh, we want the AI to adapt the presentation of the site content based on AI's fine tuning training. So again, just kind of using an example, imagine that you actually, for every single user's experience, had the ability to have someone who you have trained for a year or two on your business, like really think about that, like a couple of years that you've been able to train them and prescriptively decide what they're going to train on. And they remember the information very accurately. Um, and, and you're going to then put that person in front of a customer every time they're on your website so that any search result gets supplemented or improved by this AI. Um, this can either be sort of like you've seen with a lot of search engines where in addition to traditional search results, we're also showing the AI response and it can be expanded or collapsed. It can be extended on. Um, alternatively, we can just natively embed better search results using AI. Um, in addition to this, we can modify the navigation as they go through the site. So we can learn what they're looking for. Um, I think that this level of personalization is sort of unique compared to what a lot of personalization was, you know, half a decade, a decade ago, where it was more analytics based. Uh, this is more learning uh, what your business is and how things relate to each other. So it's a lot more precise. Um, and then finally, the other thing that I think is really powerful is chat. And these aren't the only tools. I mean, these are just some examples of sort of the outputs of having a really well-trained AI that understands your business. Um, but in chat, someone can ask really specific questions and whatever you fine tune trained this AI on, again, and imagine training an employee for several years on your business and getting them to an expert level with your products or with your services and how they work and being able to get access to product information sheets and answer questions about specs. Um, this is really powerful stuff. And so we can deliver that quite simply uh, by providing fine tuning training, working in collaboration with your team and really differentiate you in your space. And most likely this differentiation will last for somewhere between you know, two to five years, depending on how active folks are in your space, because we're so far ahead right now in the AI space that a lot of your competitors won't be doing this yet uh, for quite some time. So you will become most likely known as the site in your space that uses AI really, really well. So I think it's really powerful stuff. Obviously, there's a lot of nuance and detail. Um, I know that we'll be unpacking some of that in some of our upcoming calls. Uh, but those are just some high level points. And I'm curious if you have any questions or thoughts uh, before we wrap up this lightning talk. Yeah, I love this. Uh, I think these 10 minute challenges are great because a lot of times with you and I going back and forth, we only have small, you know, we each get to talk about one small concept. So I love the fact that you've taken it all and packaged it all up and been able to deliver a much more in-depth description of it. So from a, a webinar you and I did just a couple of days ago, we recorded it. We were talking um, heavily about Web3, right? And yes. AI is a big part of Web3. So I think from what I took from this webinar today and kind of from what we were talking about the other day, a lot of marketers and a lot of uh, people looking at AI right now are thinking that AI is a big part of Web3 and Web3 is such a huge behemoth and a decentralized takeover of everything, right? Everything to the matrix, everything's going to the matrix. So I think a lot of people are scared. So I think Chris's advice just now is very sage where he said, you know, if you jump on it now, you can really get ahead of your competitors because Although AI is considered part of the Web3 tech stack, if you will, the implementation of it is ready today and you can benefit from it today. So it's not just ChatGPT and ChatGPT helping us generate content. It's ChatGPT can go in and truly enhance the search and do some of the other things that Chris talked about today. So I urge you to reach out. Uh, I would love to meet with you guys, have a chat about this, schedule a call, talk more about how AI and how we can help implement AI with your website, give you some guidance. Visit our website, clarity-ventures.com, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. And Chris, I'll turn it back to you for one final thought. Okay, great. Yeah, I would say that uh, just generally speaking, by looking at ways to take advantage of some of the open source platforms, uh, certainly commercial paid versions like ChatGPT are available, um, but also there are a lot of competitive open source solutions like Llama 2 
uh, Bloom, et cetera, um, you can really scale up around that and invest heavily into, like you said, Ron, differentiating yourself. And I think what you'll find is that there are disproportionate rewards by making those small investments now. Uh, there will be disproportionate upside rewards to your business uh, by getting into that now. And ultimately, you know, we want to help. Uh, so we want to distill our knowledge um, and our passion for this space uh, to help you grow your business and deliver value for your clients at the end of the day. So like Ron said, feel free to uh, let us know if you would like to chat. And until then, uh, we will look forward to talking with you uh, down the road, either you know via phone and via discussion or in the next video. Thanks for watching and bye for now. Bye for now.